The 2022 Toyota Land Cruiser hasn't even been announced yet, but Spy Shots have just confirmed that we have a special edition ready for launch. Also, the upcoming 2022 redesigned Lexus NX has been spied out on the streets again. Man, things are heating up for summer. <laughs> Once again, Land Cruiser updates sharing some really tasty images with us. If you're excited for the Land Cruiser, smash the like button, subscribe for more updates as we get closer and closer to launch. Now let's get through the images. 70th anniversary, it is confirmed and in multiple colors. We've seen the 60th anniversary about 10 years ago and 20 years ago, of course, we saw the 50th anniversary and guess what's in the back here? You zoom in, twin turbo emblazoned on the rear of the Land Cruiser, so I would assume all of them would have the twin turbo badge because even the diesel will be twin turbo in theory. So it might say turbo diesel on the diesel. We'll have to wait to see that. Interior, now we've already seen the spy shots of the interior. We've already seen everything in terms of blueprints, the exterior and interior. Another look at the 70th anniversary emblem there. This being on, looks like a uh, silver model or a dark gray model, looks pretty good. I like this color. But again, in the rain, you can't really see the color for what it's worth. But this is on the GXR, which is one of the top trims in the Middle East. And interestingly, I don't really see any exhaust tips down here. So where do you <laughs> where do you think they're hiding it? Again, another image of the interior, but the rain doesn't help. Now, this thing from the side looks pretty good looking. Now, the wheels look way too small. I think we need fatter tires. The wheel wells just look massive. Uh, and that's gonna help with suspension travel, but it just looks a little out of place. The wheels and tires look really small. Maybe maybe it's not the wheels, but the tires look really, really small. So we need some fatter tires on this Land Cruiser, but what do you guys think from the side profile? I, I think it, it's unmistakably a Land Cruiser. You're not gonna, I mean, a lot of people looking at it from the side could definitely think it's a Land Cruiser 200 series. That's how similar from the side. Obviously, the front and the rear look vastly different, but from the side, it's it's a Land Cruiser. And look at the front on the silver model. I'm starting to like the front end. A lot of you guys are saying it looks like a Cadillac Escalade. It, maybe in some ways, but it looks good for what it is. And in terms of availability, it's got to be soon. I'm expecting an, an unveil in uh, probably May. Oh, we're in May already. So happy May. But I'm hearing June for not only Japan, but for the Middle East. And no one really knows for Australia. It could be a little bit later. I haven't heard June from them. I'll definitely update you if I hear anything about the Australian market. And again, here in America, uh, it's not coming. We're getting the Lexus LX. That's probably the closest thing we'll be getting. But the spy shots don't stop there. One of my viewers spotted this in Dallas, Texas, and I've seen, I think Lexus enthusiast had someone spot the NX also in Los Angeles. So they're testing the NX in big cities right now. Maybe they're testing some of the safety features on it. Not sure how autonomous this will be. It could be equipped in the future with a Lexus teammate, which is like a level two self-driving on highways. So maybe that's what they're testing here, but pretty much the same vehicle through and through that we saw on all the leaks. And once we saw those that, you know, huge leak with that video and the images, I thought, you know, maybe this was a long time ago, way pre-production and there's still things to change on it. But to be honest, it looks every bit is production ready as that huge leak was on the NX like a month or so ago. Now, the image of the rear isn't as good, but to me, it looks identical to the leaks because we have a huge bar that goes across and another bar for the taillights. So to me, we know exactly what this thing looks like. Now we just need to have more information on the powertrains. And since I have you guys here, I'm expecting NX 350H nx 450h plus so we're going to be getting hopefully a 245 horsepower nx 350h something similar to the highlander and sienna hybrid electric vehicle if it's the same as the venza and rav4 hybrid i'll be a little disappointed i want more power for the lexus give us incentive lexus and toyota to go for the higher brand don't keep giving us the same powertrains it's it's time to differentiate yourselves anyways 358 should be able to get you guys 40 miles per gallon on the new NX. 450H Plus is going to be the plug-in hybrid, 40 miles of electric range, and who knows, around 300 horsepower. And I hope they give us a lot more power and torque to the rear wheels compared to the uh, RAV4 Prime, which is very front-wheel drive focused. And we know a 2.4 liter turbo is in the works. I would assume that it makes its debut in this NX. 
for the first time ever in a Toyota or Lexus vehicle, and this would be the NX350. Now, more than likely, they're also gonna have a base NX with a naturally aspirated two and a half liter A25A FKS with 203 horsepower. But this 2.4 liter turbo is what I'm really excited for. All new engine for Toyota and Lexus. And it's possible we could see it in the Highlander in the future. Uh, the Lexus RX, the ES, the Camry. I could keep going. I think this engine is going to replace the V6s, at least the naturally aspirated V6s in the next two, three, four years. So it'll be interesting to see how good this engine is. And these are my estimations. 300 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque. And I'm expecting an 8-speed automatic uh, to replace the 6-speed automatic that we have in the current NX. A 10 speed would be cool too, but I think they're gonna keep that for the LS, the Land Cruiser, the LX, and the LC. Now, speaking of Toyota and Lexus, huge stoppage in their production. Toyota halts RAV4 and Lexus RX output in Canada after COVID outbreak affects their supplier. And this is the Toyotetsu plant in Simcoe, Ontario. So a little bit of a COVID outbreak there. That's going to put things back, hopefully not too long, more specifically, this affects the RAV4, RAV4 Hybrid, Lexus RX 350, RX 450H. The RXL is still made in Japan, and Toyota's assembly plants employ more than 8,000 workers that have no work for the time being. It's not clear when production will resume at Toyotetsu. Therefore, it's not clear when production will resume for the Ontario plans for the RAV4 and the Lexus RX. So Toyota being hit with some biological restraints while a lot of the other companies in the industry are affected by the chip shortage, which doesn't seem to be affecting Toyota and Lexus that much. But as we get over to Kia and the Koreans, I don't think the, sh I don't think the chip shortage is affecting them that much either. Kia achieves best monthly sales in company history in April 2021. And I'll end that there, mainly because a lot of the automakers are supposed to be putting out their sales figures um, Monday. So at the time of this recording, we're just a day away. I will be updating you guys tomorrow on the sales figures for April. It's looking to be really, really good, even though uh, there is a big shortage in microprocessors, semiconductors, etc., in the entire industry. But guys, I'll end it there. Are you excited for the Land Cruiser? Of course you are. Make sure to smash the like button if you haven't. Subscribe for more Japanese auto news, a little bit of Korean as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.